is there's no defendant. The fuck did Lana go? Where'd Emma go? Uh. Hi, Miles. Mm hmm. Yup. Got a hunch. Still room for doubt regarding the ID record. Well, not yet. You know she didn't do it, Miles. We gotta get Lana on the stand. We don't have time to reminisce. Miles! I got time. I can do this all day. Also, yeah, if she goes to jail, there's a cloud of suspicion hanging over your head forever. You, you, you maroon-suited, malevolent mastered. I, I, don't ask me what that is. Let's find out what he's got on her. I'm betting it's clothes. There's clothes on her. Can't prove it yet, but... The police chief has a proposal to make. Hi, Damon. Nice of you to teleport in. Okay. We've done that before. How is that How is that new and also one how is that new and two why do you have to be here to say that to us? Mhm. Mm Should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. I uh, fuck, put her on the stand. We'll cross examine her. One simple request. Put an immediate end to this trial. Declare me guilty. You've already done that. You already said that. That is a lie. What are you holding behind your back? Fire him. There you go. This, this 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 lady is is not in her right. Okay. No. No. I mean, listen. This is bullshit. But. From a purely legalistic standpoint, the fact that we know it's bullshit is kind of irrelevant and the judge really should just, she sh he should allow the defendant to proceed with the removal of her counsel and then the change of her plea and then shrug, bang his gavel and say next case. Now that's not what's going to happen and morally speaking that's not what should happen but legally speaking. I, well, you know, it's Neo San Francisco. When has legally speaking ever meant anything? Is this really the first time it. Okay, fine. Uh, 
Uh, it's a hell of an anticlimax. Oh, Miles objects. Wait, we're doing reasonable doubt now? Damon, please stop. T t don't, 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 don't ever. Don't, don't. Don't let the fanfic writers hear that it's canon that Damon Gant said to Miles Edgeworth, be a good little boy. Don't let any of them ever hear that because it will not go well. Okay? It will not go well. No, no, no. It does seem that way. You know what, Damon? You're in the you're in the courthouse now, and that means you're in you're you're in the prosecutor's dojo or something. Your point is, uh, yeah, we're calling Damon Gantz so that Phoenix Wright can rip him apart. Or Emma Sky, one of those. I don't care what you think. <laughs> Whoa. Mm hmm. Miles kind of has a point. I'm not going to lie. Why would you run it by Chief Gant? Oh boy. Hi Emma. Yes, he's he's Joe Doc of the of the killings Joe Docs. I am gonna miss this music. It's good music. This particular piece of music you hear every time Nude Indigo starts a stream. Go follow Nude Indigo. Yes. It most certainly is, apparently. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. Let's just see about that. You were waiting in her sister's office. A man came running in, took you hostage. Neil Marshall rescued you. You'll never forget what you saw in that instant. Mm-hmm. The man raised up his knife and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. That is not what you said you saw. You never said you saw that. You never said you saw that. Assist. That will soon become apparent. Okay. I didn't even know it was pregnant, but I guess it will soon become apparent. You were waiting in Lana's office. Fair enough. You can't fire me. I quit. I don't actually quit even, but you can't fire me. Mm-hmm. 
That makes sense. <laughs> Tell me more about the man who held you hostage. He was not a serial killer. He killed a bunch of people, like, one right after another, and then had a moment of, oh my god, why am I so violent, as he turned into Johnny Gargano, and went into the police department to confess, and then was like, actually, let me just do one more quick murder. Is that really a serial killer? That doesn't sound like a serial killer. Mm-hmm. This is all really convenient, by the way. Yeah. There were two people present during Dark's questioning. Deputy Chief David Gant, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He received the King of the Prosecutors trophy. Yeah. Lights went out. It was a terrible storm. Lightning struck. Mm -hmm. Of course, Detective Goodman. Let's hear some more. told him about what you saw. Well, you drew a picture. Keep going. Show me this picture. Did we uh, get to check this? Oh, no don't actually get to see what's on it. Of course not. Oh! Oh! I'm glad I decided to look at that. <laughs> Man, that very nearly just went whoosh right over my head. A picture is drawn on the back of the evidence list in Magic Marker. How about that? I drew a picture of that scene once, but it seems to have been lost. I've got good news. I found it. You would insist on denying its existence. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. If I had, <laughs> if I hadn't just flipped over that picture, because the game never, the game never, never hinted at it. The game never said, oh, by the way, remember to always inspect all of the pieces of evidence you find. Nope. It, it, it <sighs> that would have been a 25 minute roadblock. I would have run out of lawyer health four times and quit the series. I would have quit the series if I wasn't a lucky fuck. Oh, maybe the Riddler tie just makes me smart. Is that it? Does the Riddler tie just make me smart? Let's go with that. Isn't that like technically submitting extra evidence? Yes. Doesn't evidence need to all be submitted before the trial? I mean, yes, but this is Neo San for Tokyo. Listen, it's not like we were told specifically that there are very fine points of evidence law earlier in this case that need to be followed or anything. Edge? Come on. What are you talking about here? There different it would appear the evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete mm-hmm Edgeworth got betrayed It's, that's what was around. Oh. Oh, Bruce. Oh, Bruce. Oh, Brucey. Oh, no. Phoenix, don't take on the case of Joe Dark. He's already dead. There might be. Looks blank, but... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's that thing. Oh. It's the flu badger! <laughs> court record so now it looks like uh this with hmm i think it's just a it's just a fun little is that just a fun little coincidence could that possibly be the same why does it why does it look like a window if you turn it can't be it can't be. Hopefully. Hopefully. Testify about this picture. She seemed to be thinking. Oh, no. Oh, Emma. Emma, do you have a heel turn hidden in there somewhere? Wait, you can't have a heel turn. I know that you're coming back later. Hmm. <sighs> oh. 
all you could see were shadows. Mm-hmm. Shows exactly what you saw. Okay. Which means she didn't see the stabbing, for the record. No. No, it doesn't. It shows a person about to murder a person. But... Other than that... Alright, let's go. <laughs> Two or three days later. Huh. I mean, I suppose. I had a magic marker. Oh, okay. That's why we needed to get back into the flow of the, yeah. Mm-hmm. turned around and saw the flash. Hmm. You know, you just testified that you saw the murder take place, Emma, right? You're the one who called her, Miles. <laughs> I, I like how both Phoenix and Edgeworth have had to say, hey, I'm not the bad guy here. Because, <laughs> like, they know they're not the bad guy here, but they do kind of have to just, you know, play at it. Something that's bothering you about this picture. I mean, probably. Now, wait, the thing that stands out to me is the way that the way the guy killing the guy is holding the weapon, the weapon is not a switchblade. The weapon is big, it it might even be blunt, like it might be a lead pipe or something, but it's definitely like, it's a large weapon. It's clearly a contradiction here. Wait, there's a contradiction there. This guy is not about to be stabbed in the back, is he? He looks like he's looking up, but maybe the def maybe the, the killer is above him and plunging down into his back? That's possible. The actual answer here is the autopsy report. Yeah, the actual answer there is the autopsy report. Always check your evidence, kids. Human memory is faulty. What part of this picture contradicts the autopsy report? What? Um. Okay, how do I... How do we... Wait, how do we indicate... 
so so how do I indicate the victim can't have been stabbed in the back because the killer was attacking him from the front do I do the eye line yeah the face you're looking at the okay Phoenix. It's because the drawing stinks. Phoenix. The, the drawing does stink. Okay. Is it this thing? Are we supposed to see believe that this is a blunt object? Okay. So it's the broken tip of the knife. Right. Right, but Emma. Emma, think about it here. Emma, if... If the tip of the knife was in the body, then why would you have seen the killer holding a broken knife? Emma. Miles. If the tip of the knife is in the body, why would you see the killer holding a broken knife? A single stab wound. One and only one. The murder weapon should not yet be broken. No, the knife, the tip of the knife was in his body, Miles! There you go. I mean, that's a possible explanation. She saw another stabbing attempt. Falsified evidence. All I'm saying. Maybe the broken knife tip might have been fake. Maybe. Might be. Who knows? Could be. We know there's falsified evidence somewhere. The day of this murder, right, Phoenix? We're talking about this murder, not the SL9 murder. Okay. No, we are talking about the SL9 murder. Okay. So we're just pro we're just prosecuting the SL9 murder, and eventually we'll get around to to the murder of Bruce Goodman. Okay, fine, cool. Question Joe Dark, along with Damon Gant. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The prosecuting marshal chased after him and was killed by Dark. That's what we were led to believe. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. There must have been another broken knife. Hey, Miles! Are you cottoning on to the thing that I hit on an hour and a half of real time ago? Damon Gant killed Neil Marshall with the broken halberd of the King of the Prosecutors trophy. Could there have been one? There is... There is... Another! It's been a while since I saw Star Wars. How's my Yoda? 
Do I need to work on my Yoda? I think I need to work on my Yoda. She saw a broken knife. Mm hmm. Work on my Yoda, I must? Interesting, Sam. Uh, the real broken murder weapon is. I mean. Okay, here's the problem. Do I present the picture which contains the sword? No, because the picture did not commit the murder. Do I present the King of the Prosecutors trophy, even though it doesn't presently have its halberd? Maybe. Should there be a piece of evidence that's just broken halberd from the King of the Prosecutors trophy? Sure. Alternate possibility. <laughs> did he get murdered with the screwdriver? Who knows? Maybe he actually killed him with the screwdriver. Ah, uh, let's try the trophy. I'm gonna get... Okay, so it's not the... It's not the trophy. Then it must be the picture. Perfectly logical evidence. Fine, whatever. It's the last case. I'm not going to get too mad. The broken murder weapon. The King of the Prosecutor's Trophy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was given the shield and knife. Of course you do. You conveniently remember everything about the person you murdered and then got covered up for. Is that a badge? Yeah, that's 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 somebody's badge. So did you see a badge flying through the air? Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. Tell us what you've recalled, Ms. Sky. Oh boy. This should be interesting. This is this is going places. Saw the man raise his knife. You panicked and rushed them. I see. So you... You saw the... You saw his shadow. Right. Okay. Okay. Don't pursue this any further.
I, she has a point. She does, legalistically speaking, have a point. But I suppose if the prosecution refuses to prosecute... What Miles is saying is that there ain't no getting off of this train we on. Detain the defendant. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Saw the man raise his knife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You panicked and rushed them like a stupid person. Although you do have a point. just this year. That's true. Isn't like the blue badger's head based on the design of a police badge? Am I just making that up? Now you finally remember. That's nice. Good for you. Shadow. So what are you, a groundhog? Hmm. It's a good question. What was that shadow? You always say you know things, so... Hadn't even been dreamt up. She's certain she saw its shadow. There indeed was something that looked similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Please show us this mysterious blue badger look-alike. And it's a... Oof. And it's a piece of evidence, huh? Maybe it's the unstable jar? That would explain why there's blood on it. It kind of does. What if you, you rotate it? You rotate it. So, so you rotate it. Thank fuck! That sucked! This sucks! Oh my god, that fucking sucks. Oh my god, that fucking sucks. Oh my god, that sucked. I will overrule that suck.
Thank you, Sam. Objection. One question remains. What's your point? My point is that this is the murder weapon. There's blood on it, Miles! Hold it. Yeah! The witness saw the jar. Yeah, we know that the murder happened in Damon Gant's office. Yeah. I see. Uh-huh. You know, if this happened the way Phoenix is saying, why didn't we find blood there when we sprayed the luminol? Too late to quit now. She said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. <laughs> Jeebus. If we hadn't dedicated months to this series, that would have been a fuck this. I'm playing something else. 2023. I am not playing another Ace Attorney game until 2023. At least. Mm hmm. The man was knocked in the direction of the shelf. What would he have hit? Is it the king of the pros? Oh, the suit of armor. Holding a very sharp and dangerous looking sword. So, Emma not. Emma. Like a dummy knocked Neil into the suit of armor, which killed Neil. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, the good news is the case is already closed, so we can't send Emma to prison for it, right? Because she kind of accidentally killed Neil Marshall. She kind of accidentally killed Neil Marshall. Is the problem. So... Did Emma not know that? Did Emma not... Oh. I see. Uh-huh. Yep. 
No, it's not. I mean, that part is, like, that. that's part and parcel for Phoenix Wright. Nope. Nope, didn't. Just, um, just kind of, just kind of worked through how it, at the very least, could have been someone else and, you know, might have been. You're the one who admitted you forged evidence, lady. Oh boy. Any conclusive evidence that proves my sister killed Neil Marshall? Uh... Conclusive. No. No, I don't. Who needs evidence? The city's out for blood. Both, I, you, you, you raise a fair point, Lana. We certainly get... You know... Phoenix, you could very easily get a dead person to testify. Nobody's going to go for it, but you of all people know a way to get dead people to testify. You have a friend who specializes... In oh, never mind. Oh, boy. That leaves us with one possibility. That the victim has left us a message. He may have what now? Miles, what are you on? A message from the deceased. Does such a message exist? Wait. Wait. Is there any way at all to look at this and f could that be a J? Could I don't think we get that could that be the start of an M? gonna roll her up oh my god it is oh my god it is he's trying to spell out Emma he's trying to spell out Emma it's Ami Faye's pot all over again it's Mia Faye's murder all over again. It's Elise Dunim's murder all over again. These writers only have one trick. from the deceased is already in our possession. They only have one trick.
please show us the piece of evidence that conveys a message from the deceased. Well, fortunately, I don't have to speak. I don't have to spin it around 19... Wait, I might have to spin it around 19 times. Hopefully not! Message was left here on the surface of the jar. Like someone wiped the blood away. With a cloth, perhaps. Emma. How about that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And when you were falling, you fell on W and S for Waylon Smithers, or as you saw it, Maggie Simpson. <sighs> Every case is who shot Mr. Burns. Great. All we need to do is connect these points. No, don't. <laughs> Lana's like, no, don't. No, don't. No, don't. <laughs> oh. I've got to connect. We're playing connect the dots. <laughs> We're playing connect the dots. Okay. Oh, and they're even highlighting the dots for me. Okay. So you start here. And you go here. And you start here. And you go here. And then you start here. And you go here. And you start here. And you go here. Man, thank God that this lady's name isn't like Penelope. Or, you know, chastity hope faith. <laughs> Prove their client's innocence, even if you accidentally implicate her sister. Yes, Sam, chastity hope faith. That's the the hottest, the 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 most. The, maybe it's just Ashley with nine Y's. There. Well, listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh uh, boy. So. So. So why did Damon murder Bruce? <laughs> like, hold on. It's just, we've been spending so much time here. The question is left. Why did Damon murder Bruce? We, we haven't gotten that far yet. But why did Damon murder Bruce? Hi, Damon. Why'd you murder Bruce? You, uh... You did say Miles would regret that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. True. Damon. Damon! Objection. It's a well, um,
We aren't defenders of justice. We're keepers of the law. I see. Damon. I, it wasn't. Oh, Damon, you motherfucker. Why'd you murder Bruce? Unable to settle the crowd, the judge declared a recess. No one knows where the trial is headed, but we know that next week here on Twitch and in just a couple of days on YouTube, it is heading for the finale. Oh, next time. Next time, next time, next time. The Trial Ladder, the final episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Thank you all so much for being here. Have a good night. Goodbye.